wasn't in the scene. My hands. It's day three of the of my DDPY workouts. I did it uh, uh, night before last. So we did it in the evening with my wife. Yesterday I did it before work. I want to tell you just uh, one thing I noticed was I was a lot more relaxed the first couple of hours at work. Can you see my touchdown? Mm -hmm, and uh, uh, but the um, uh, but I was, my knees hurt. I mean, I uh, had some aches in my back and my knees. Uh, I was able to walk in the park last night, my, our usual Wednesday night crowd. Two miles, two and a quarter miles. So here's day three. Uh, let's do it. I was doing it again in the AM. I was going to try to do twice a day, but so far that's. Uh, that, I think my eyes were bigger than my stomach. So right now, I'm going to try to do once a day in the morning. All right. I want you to straighten your legs, but I want you to try to pull them together. I want you to work those adductor muscles, trying to really, if it was ice, your feet would slide together. Now tuck your tailbone, squeeze your glutes, quads and glutes. Hit them, flex them, feel them, getting tight. Inhale, reach out and grab that ball. Pull your pinky away from your thumb, your thumb away from your pinky. Engage that entire arm. My heart rate's already up to 100. Deep breath. Now as you inhale, if you need to use the chair, hold on to it. But if you don't, really try to get that height. Get some length, get some strength. Exhale, palms up. Heart rate's already at 105. Now turn your palms down. Push those thumb and index fingers against each other. Pull those pinkies wide. Inhale, take it back. Arms out to a T, clinch your fist. Hold it up. Now, inhale, tension. Shoulders back, chest out. At ease. Now remember, any time that you need to hold on to it, hold on to it. Let's try it again. Grip your toes, flex the quads, flex the glutes. Inhale, reach out, grab the ball. Pull those pinkies away from your thumbs. Inhale, take it up, touch down, get that length. Exhale, bring it down, push them together, diamond cutter, tight, 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 push them tight. Inhale, take it back, rolling your shoulders back as you do this. Again, if you need to hold on to the chair, hold on to it, come out to a T, clench your fist down, roll your shoulders and hook it up. Inhale, take it chunk. Ease. See, what we're trying to do here is flex and engage muscle. That's how I got my heart rate from 91 to 111, boom, in less than two minutes. Every time you flex or engage a muscle, your heart has to be faster to get the blood to the muscle. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> Next one, touchdown side. And again, we're going to bring the chair right in the middle here so that we can push our hand into that chair if you need that balance so you can lean to the left. And when we go to the opposite side, lean to the right. That's why my hand's going to be here. If you don't need it, just bring your hand to the outside here and open up that left side. Okay, so here we go. Flex the quads, grip those toes first. Flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball. Inhale and a touchdown. Get the height. Exhale, drop the left, scrape the right. Now you can bring that hand in that chair, just like I did there. Opening up, I'm balancing myself right here so I can lean a little bit farther. Now inhale, get the height, get the length. Now drop the right and scrape the left. Open up that left side. Inhale, take it up. Let's do it one more time. But as I'm moving, I'm moving this left hand with resistance. Now, if you need to grab the chair, grab it. If not, bring it on your side. Open up that whole right side. Inhale, take it up. Get some height. Now, moving resistance, drop the right. Scrape that left. Open up that left side. Inhale, take it up. Stretch it out. 
exhale, bring it down. Push right into diamond cutter. Get used to this. Push your thumb and index fingers against each other. Pull your pinkies wide. Engage your forearms, your bicep, your pectoral muscles. Inhale, take it back. Arms out to a T. Clench your fist. Hold it up. Tension. At ease. Okay. On to the next. Okay, our next movement is barback position. From bent-legged barback to stiff-legged barback. Now, what we're going to do here is move the chair completely to the opposite side. And the reason we're going to do that is because when we're in a barback position, see how I have my hand here on the chair? I'm going to use that because your goal is to be able to do this. But you might not be able to do that right now. You might fall over. So that's why you're using this right here. And when you run forward, your hand here is going to lower you. So you're going to rub this left hand down here if you can. If not, just take it out in front. But ideally, you want to get this movement right here. That's the movement. The goal is to be here, bring both hands down, and get that way. This is your stability right here. So what we're going to do, flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, inhale with a touchdown. Huddle up. So I did that right there, right hand on it. You can grip it if you want to as well. Now what I want you to do here, put your hand on your knee. I see your elbow, roll it in. This arm's going to be straight up. Roll your shoulders back. Deep breath. Get your back nice and flat. Now exhale and pull. Ah, crick. Oh. Ooh, pose it and pose it. Oh. But ideally, you want to get this movement right here. That's the movement. The goal is to be here, bring both hands down, and get that way. This is your stability right here. So, what we're going to do, flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, inhale with a touchdown, huddle up. So I did that right there, right hand on it. You can grip it if you want to as well. Now what I want you to do here, put your hand on your knee. I see your elbow, roll it in. This arm's going to be straight up. Roll your shoulders back. Deep breath, get your back nice and flat. Now exhale, fold forward. Now tuck that chin. If you can, try to run your hands right down your calf, stretching that spine from your tailbone all the way at the top of your neck. Inhale again, that way the bar back. One more time, fold forward. If you get too lightheaded, just sit on that chair. Inhale, that way the bar back, now if you can, Stiff legged. Now, if you could go up with a fist here, up on your fingertips might be a little bit easier. Still trying to keep your back flat. Exhale, just fold forward. Tuck your chin. Let your arm hang if you can here. Deep breath. Now, just roll up. Watch how I roll up here. One vertebrae at a time. My chin's the last thing to come up. Come right up and touch down. Get some height. Exhale, bring it down. Thumb to thumb, index finger to index finger. Inhale, take it back. Out to a T. Hook it up. Tension. Shoulders back, chest out. Addy, shake it out. Great job. Okay. On to the next. <laughs> Next position is catcher. And what I'm going to do is bring the chair right back again, but I'm going to use it completely different this time. Point it forward as it was in bent legged bar back, but you're going to use it to sit down on the chair, but not yet. So, what I want you to do, feet pointed forward, grip those toes, flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, you know, pull that thumb away from that pinky, get that leg, engage that hand. Inhale on the touchdown, exhale, huddle up, sit right down on that chair. Now here's the deal. Get to the edge of the chair, 
turn your toes and knees out. Now, if you started with the chair workouts, you'll remember this one. But if you didn't, I'm going to show you again. So I want you to turn your toes and knees out. Bring that left forearm to the mat. Come back up. See, I just pull my shoulders back. Not here. Roll your shoulders back. Get your shoulders over your hips. Right forearm to the mat. Back up. One more time. Left forearm. You're going to let this whole left side open up and try to bring that left forearm actually to the mat. Take it back up. Right forearm. Roll it through. Open up that whole left side. Inhale, take it up. Now you're going to get out of the chair a number of ways. One is you can put your hands on your legs, come right up into here. Exhale, come right back down and sit back down in the chair. The other one is you can actually pop up and use yourself, just use your own momentum. Don't just let yourself pop down into the chair though. If you're going to use that, just get, you can use just, you can get just used to just doing this. Just doing this, coming up, building that quad, just like doing squats without having to really beat yourself up. Make the DDPY your own. Do whatever works for you. So what we're going to do is come up and hold it for three, two, one. Get some height. Exhale, take it down. Thumb to thumb, fist to hand. Exhale, kick it out. Sit right back on the chair. Fold that left forearm forward. Bring it up. Right forearm forward. Bring it up. If you can use your momentum and put it on your hand, go for it. And come up. Three, two, two. Get some height. Exhale, bring it down. Your goal is bring your thumb to your thumb, your fist to your hand. Come up. Exhale, kick it out. That's simple. One more time. Roll it forward. Bring it up. Roll it forward. Bring it up. And the last one. Deep breath. Pick it up. Three, two, three. Toes forward. Just turn your body. This is where we're right back to bent legged bar back. Exhale. Fold forward. Use that chair. Inhale. Roll it up. Come right up and touch down. Again, if you're going to leave the chair, just walk back around it. Get some height. Reach for the left. Reach for the right. Reach for the left. Reach for the right. Take it down. Diamond cutter. Take it back. Out to a T. Hoke it up. Tension. At ease. Great job. Okay. On to the next. Okay, guys, this next exercise, this next position that I'm going to take you through, to me, is the most important thing to build your core. It's more important than anything you've ever done. And you've never really done it like this, most likely. So the first thing I want to do is I want to bring the chair up here, which means that if you saw the chair <coughs> workout where I was explaining to you how to use the chair, this is what I want to say again. If this chair is on this side, this leg is going back. This foot right here, my, my right foot, is cutting right there, the middle of the chair. You don't want to be back here. You want to have it way up there. So now I'm going to take you and I'm going to show you my toes. See, I'm on my toes. I am on the ball of my foot. My toes are getting stretched. Now I'm not one foot behind the other. That's like being on a tightrope. I'm open here, so we have this distance. My left hand is right underneath my left shoulder because this is the way it's gonna go in the beginning. So how do you make this easier? Well, you step that foot in. Notice I didn't do this. I'm not on my foot flat. I'm up on my toes. It's pivotal. So how do I make it easier? Step in, step in, step in, step in. 
Make the DDPY your own. How do you make it more challenging? Go deeper. Go deeper. That's how you get stronger in this lunge position. Because I'm going to have you here for a while. Now, I want you to reach out, and I want you to try and grab the ball. And if you got to do it like this, then that's the way you got to do it. If you got to step in a little bit, step in a little bit. If you got to lower to your knee, lower to your knee. But I don't even recommend that early on. I'd rather you just step in. But if you got to lower to your knee, lower to your knee. Reach out and grab the ball. We're going to do some dynamic resistance here. And I want you to work your back and your biceps. We're going to do three here. And pull. Three, two, one. You have to use this, use it. Now it's a negative rep coming out, working your back and your bodies. And pull. Three, two, two. Inhale, negative rep. You need to step in a little bit, step in a little bit. Last one. Pull it. Three, two. Three, deep breath, and exhale, fold forward. Now take that foot back a little deeper. See, I'm all my weight's in my shoulder. It's in my hand. I'm going to explode here. Deep breath. Put your right hand on your right quad. Don't take that knee past that ankle, ever. Always having it right over your knee, right over your ankle. Deep breath. Count it back. Three. Two, one, step through. Now this is essential. Position yourself. Inhale on the touchdown. Get that leg. Exhale, come down. Again, you need the chair, it's right there. Take it back. Out to the teal, get up. Tension. And you shake it out. Other side, just flip the chair. Again, step up. So your foot is right there. Take that right leg back. Bring your weight right into your hand. Get up on your toes. No flat feet, don't do that. Get them up. Keep this knee over your ankle, never this way. And you really don't want to be like this because then you're not really doing anything. But if you want to do that, do it. You know, make the DDPY your own. I say it all the time. But I'd rather you make it easier by stepping in. That's what I'd rather you do. Don't straighten this leg. Keep that knee back. Work that quad. Again, don't be on a tightrope. Open it up. Reach out and grab the ball. And you might just, you might not even pull. You might just want to even just hold it here. Deep breath. And pull. Three, two. One, inhale, deep breath, negative breath. Feel your bicep, feel your back. Pull, three, two, two, deep breath. And pull, three, two, three, deep breath. Exhale, pull forward. Remember, don't take that knee past your ankle. I'd rather you start learning how to step back. The farther back you get, the stronger you're going to get. Keep that shoulder. Right there in the hands. You can't do this anymore. So now, this is your pillow right here. Deep breath. We're going to explode in three, two, one. Step through. Come right up in a touchdown. Want to bring that chair around? Bring it around. Inhale, get that height. Exhale, bring it down. Diamond cutter. Push them together tight. Inhale, take it back. Out to a T. Hold it up. Tension. At ease. The key's here to the lunge. Staying on your toes. Keeping your heel up. Don't let your knee go past your ankle. Don't hurt yourself. Make the DDPY your own. On to the next. <laughs> Okay, guys, our next move here is a twisting lunge. And this one is pivotal, again, to really opening up your hips and your lower back. And I'm going to try to break you of habits immediately. So, again, for the chair, the chair, we're going to move back that left leg. That means that's the side the chair is on. So, position your right foot right there across from that little halfway mark there. Drop that left leg back. All right, now, 
Keep that right knee over your ankle. None of this. Always knee over your ankle, toes pointed forward. Up on your toes, not back flat footed. Get up on the ball of your foot. And there's two ways you can do this. One is just twisting open here, just like that. The next is taking your hand down to this inside of the chair, or you literally could flip it around and do this. And then you use this. It's like a huge block here and twisting open. But because of the balance mark, you might want to try keeping it right here and just stepping your hand. Because what's great about these chairs, no matter where you put them, the chair seat's not going to move. That's why I picked these chairs. So, left hand under left shoulder. Right knee over right ankle. Twist that right arm open. Take it right here from your lower back, twisting that right arm open. Try to straighten that back left leg if you can. You don't have to, though. Again, you're working on it. You're getting stronger. Deep breath, and then count it back. Three, two, one. Put my hand right here on my quad. I'm bringing my other hand right up here on this chair because I'm going to explode right in the touchdown in three, two, one. Step through. Get the height. Bring it down. Diamond cutter. Reverse that stretch. Out through a T hole. Get up. Tension. At ease. Opposite side. Flip it through. Again. Foot right there in the middle of the leg there. So basically your foot is cutting it right there in the middle. Take that right foot back. Now come up on the ball there, up on those toes, left knee over the left ankle. And again, if you want to do it right here, just easy twist here. Just easy twist. If your shoulder doesn't let you do it, just start to work. Let's try to break up that scar tissue. If you want to take it a little deeper, Bring it right to the inside of that chair. See how I just took that foot back? Notice that. Boom. I want to keep this long here. I don't want to be all bunched up here. You want to keep going, you know, move your hips up and down like this. Now twist that left hand open. Deep breath. Exhale all that air out. You need to come back down, just come back down. You can also be right here. And then try to open up. And then count it back. Three, two, one. Hand on your knee. Deep breath. Count it back. Three, two, one. Step it through. Get the height. Exhale, bring it down. Diamond cutter, take it back. Out to a T, hook it up. Then jump. At ease. Okay, great job. On to the next. Okay, guys, our next move is knee droppers. And I developed this for guys who are really beat up, like my buddy Scott Hall and Jake Roberts, to try to help them get to the floor and get back up again. But especially for seniors, I've worked to help people who are in their late 60s, 70s, and 80s be able to get to the ground and get back up again just by strengthening these muscles, not just in their core, but in their knees. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn the chair around here, all right? And the chair here is so we can put a lot of weight into the seat of the chair. And we're going to step up like we normally would. We're going to take that deep breath, flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, we're just going to get that height first, touchdown. Now I want you to huddle up here. Now, you're going to take the left leg back. Now, you can be on your fist like this, or you can be on the palm of your hand, or you can be on the outside of the chair. Again, make the DDPY your own. Notice my forearm is right here into my right quad. Now, what my goal is, see my left knee? I'm starting to lower it, and then I'm taking it right back up again. <sighs> That's one, okay? I'm lowering it. I'm up on my toes. Notice my hips aren't too high. Taking it back up, two. And lowering it, taking it back up, three. Two more. Lowering it, taking it back up, 
four. Notice his knee never moves up here. Doesn't do this. Stay stable. Lower up five. Now we're going to deep. We're going to explode in three, two, one. Help yourself up here. Now push yourself up if you need it. Get that leg. After all that bending over, you know where we're going. Take it back, diamond cutter. Out to a T. Hook it up. Tension. At ease. Opposite side. And I'm going to come to this twice because I'm going to show you two different things. But this is the first one. It's all about strengthening. Flex the quads. Flex the glutes. Grab the ball. Touchdown. Huddle up. And take that right leg back. Again, all the weight. On, on the fist, the palm, or grab the chair, whatever you feel is comfortable. I like to use the fist a lot of times, too. You can leave your hand right back here, or you can bring your forearm right here. I'm going to keep my hand here to show you another version of this. And again, I can move it anywhere in the seat because it's super stable. So what you're going to do is start working this. And it might only be this far in the beginning. Take it up. One. And then lowering it little by little. Take it up two, maybe a little bit more, take it up, three, don't do this, this leg stays stable, this is your pillow, lower it, take it up, four, use your body to help you get yourself back up, two, take it off, you. take it up, five, is that five, okay, I'm just checking, that's five right there, now, we're going to fold forward, and we're going to explode. Put all your weight in both hands and count it back. Three, two, one. Take it up. Open this whole body long and lean. Get the height. Bring it down. Diamond cutter. Take it back. Out to a T hole. Get up. Pinch up. At ease. Now I'm going to bring you back around. Check my heart rate out, by the way. 106. I'm in my fat burner zone. I'm 61. So I'm in it. And I'm doing this. I'm just working with you. Okay. So, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm going to show you something here. Flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, touch down, huddle up. Now, you notice every time I grab this chair when I do that. But you can do this if you're already at that spot. Take that left leg back. We're doing the same thing, but this time we're lowering all the way to the ground. Then we're coming back up again. We're just going to do two of those. We'll roll the way to the ground. Put your weight in this form if you need to. Take it back up again. Now let me show you why I'm teaching this. All the way to the ground. Come up on that knee. If you need to put your weight in the chair, do it. Bring this right leg back. Now I got you on the mat. Let's just do a cat lift and a cat arch here. Inhale, look up. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale, cat arch, drop your head, arch your back, tuck your tailbone. Back to neutral position. Knee right under your hip. Hand right under your shoulder. Inhale, cat lift. Exhale, cat arch, drop your head, arch your back, tuck your tailbone. Come up on your knees. Here we go. Sweep that right leg through. Bring your hand on your quad, hand on the chair. Come off the mat. Step it up. Touchdown. Awesome. Now you learn how to get up and get down the right way. Take it back. Out to a T, baby. Hook it up. Tension. Other side. Flex the quads. Flex the glutes. Grab the ball. Touchdown. Huddle up. Right leg. Take it back. Yeah, keep that knee over your ankle. Hand under your shoulder. Maybe forearm on your quad to help the knee bring you up and down. Up, one. One more. All the way down. Up, two. Take it all the way down. Take your shoulders over your hips. Take that leg back. Come right in the table. Hand underneath your shoulder. Knee underneath your hip. Inhale in the cat lift. Exhale in the cat arch. Arch your back. Tuck your tailbone. Inhale cat lift. Exhale cat arch. 
So here's how you get off the ground, moving forward. Come up on your knees, chairs on this side. Swing that left leg through. Hand or forearm on your quad, curl your toes, step up. Touchdown. Bring it down, diamond cutter. Out to a T, hold it up. Tantrum. At ease. All right. That's the beginning. You can come back to this workout right here, this little couple of minute workout to help strengthen your core, to help get you down and get you back up again. These things I'm showing you are pivotal. You do these workouts the way it's supposed to be done, you will be getting stronger every day. Okay, on to the next. <laughs> Okay guys, the next thing we're going to show you is Cobra. And I'm going to use the chair right up here in this. I'm actually going to take you into a push-up and I'm going to take you into down dog here. So we'll start with grabbing the chair and showing you exactly where we're going to go. Remember, all four legs are on the chair. And all we're going to do is walk my feet back a little bit, just a little bit, and we're going to drop your hips and roll your shoulders back. That's it, just open up. It's like a, it's, we're doing like a cobra that we do on the mat or like a diamond cutter. Now in the down dog, you're just gonna push your hips back. And I'm gonna drop my feet back a little bit because I'm long here, I don't know how much you'll have to move because I don't know how tall you are. But what you're gonna do is just drop your forehead and your ears right between your biceps and push your hips back. Then you're going to come into plank. Now, when you're in plank here, using a chair, this makes it easier. This makes it easier. Makes it easier. You get to pick how challenging you want it to be, all right? Now, we're going to drop our hips again one more time. Cobra. Exhale. Push back into down dog. See, I'm moving my feet there, dropping my... Ears right between my biceps here. And again, in the plank, and I'm going to step it in. Now, you see, I'm on my toes here. We're going to do a three-second push-up here. But I'm only going to modify this and bend my elbows and hold three, two, one. I'm only going to stop right there. Hold three, two, one. Now I'm going to push up. Three, two, one. Now I'm going to lower one more time. Three, two, two, and I'm going to hold there. Three, two, two. Now I'm going to drop my ears between your biceps. Deep breath. Exhale, bend your knees, step, and right up into touchdown. Exhale, bring it down, thumb to thumb. Index finger to index finger. Inhale, take it back. Out through a T, clench your fist, hold it up. Head jump. At ease, shake it out. Great job. Now I'm going to show you one more thing on those push-ups. Because you can go anywhere you want on those push-ups. You can keep it in super tight. You can pull it out a little wider. You can take it three, two, one, all the way down here. Hold three, two, one, then come up three, two, one. Or you don't have to go up or down. You can just stay right here and not go up or down. It always works like that. Make the DDP while you roll. One more Cobra. Exhale. One more Diamond. Down Dog. One more Cobra. One more Down Dog. And step through. Touchdown. Open it up. Diamond kind of take it back. Out to a T. Hook it up. Catch up. At ease. Okay. With those push-ups, make them your own always. Okay. On the next. Okay. Our next movement is broken table. And again, I'm going to put the chair in the same spot I would do it for down dog, cobras, push-ups. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to plant your right foot Take your left leg back, all right? That could be level one. 
Level two, you want to set in your hand in the middle here and take your right hand out. But don't do this with your neck. After you've already seen it, and it might be like this, or it might be like this, whatever works, the better you can get. Or you can take it to another spot, which is this right here. Turn your chair around and get right here. So pick your poison, whatever works for you. Left leg up and take that right hand out. Again, make sure it's stable on that chair. That's what we're looking for. Then we're going to do right hand and then left hand. So I want to show you what it looked like before we did this. So flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, in the touchdown, huddle up. Okay, both hands in the chair. But I really want you to put your left hand towards the middle of the chair. Now, when that's stable, right underneath your shoulder, take your left foot back. Plant that right foot, try to straighten that leg and flex that quad, and try to bring that right hand out here. Now, if you can reach out and grab it, great. If not, just reach out and do it towards that. Don't pull your toes straight, pull your toes back. Try not to bend your leg. Try to straighten that left leg. Now, try to pull that right hand away from that left foot. Deep breath. Count it back, three, two, one, bring him down. Great job. And we'll bring that right hand towards the middle of the chair. Take your right foot straight up. Make sure that left foot is secure there. Bring that left hand out, and either grab the chair if you need to, or hold it out there. Deep breath. Exhale, hold that air out. Deep breath. Count it back, three, two, one, take it down. Push it right up and touch out. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, bring it back. Out through a T, hold it up. Then jump. At ease. Great job, guys. That'll really strengthen your core there. Okay, on to the next. Hey, guys, this is our last one. This is the warrior positions and it's the only time i'm going to change the psychology of the chair but that's to help you so we're going to bring this on my right side the right leg we're going to drop that left leg back here and now i can lean into this chair because the two legs are on the mat i can lean into it because the position i'm going for is going to be road warrior one or right hand forward, left hand back, Road Warrior 2. Now let's take a look at what my legs are doing here. Notice I'm holding on to the chair here as I'm doing this. So, my right knee is right over my right ankle, my toes are pointing forward. My left foot is not pointed out like this. My heel is turned out so I can move my body forward and square my hips. My leg is completely planted, straight, flexed. My pinky toe is planted in the mat. Now, how do I make this easier? Like anything, step in, step in, step in. Now, if you look at my right knee, it's still over my ankle. I'm not like this. There's still a bend working my quad. How do I make it more challenging? Go back. Again, you've got this chair to balance you when you're in Road Warrior 2, we're building this core strength as you're using the chair. Take it up into Road Warrior 1. Okay, so now we're going to do it. Step up the front of your mat. Okay, flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball, touch down. Huddle up. Now, take that left leg back. Again, see I'm keeping my right hand right underneath my right shoulder. My right foot is right there, right in the middle of that leg of the chair there. My toes are pointed forward on my right foot. My left are at an angle, pushing the heel back. I'm trying to pull these legs together, engaging these muscles. I'm reaching out, I'm grabbing the ball, opening those fingers wide, inhaling up into road warrior number one. Again, if you need to bring your hand down, bring it down. Now, Road Warrior 2 
right hand forward, left hand back. Now notice my arms aren't down like this or like this. Boom. Right off my shoulders, my fingers are pointed out in all directions, spreading them. Deep breath. Exhale, drop your left hand on your left thigh. Take your right arm up and over to reverse road warrior. Again, you need to bring your hand down. There's the chair right there. Inhale to road warrior two. Exhale, bring your forearm on your quad or the chair. Bring your bicep to the ear. Extended side angle, opening up. Inhale, come back up. Get the length here. Exhale, reverse road warrior. Inhale, turn your toes out. All right, we're in a type of runner's lunge here. Step through, get the height, bring it down. Diamond cutter, take it back. Out to a T-hole, get up. Then jump. At ease, other side. Flip it around. Left foot right there next to the chair or the leg there. A leg in the chair, one of the two. Flex the quads, flex the glutes, grab the ball. Touch down, huddle up. Right leg back. Left knee over left ankle, toes pointed forward. Right heel, turn back, toes on an angle. Come right up in a Road Warrior one. Exhale, left hand forward, right hand back, Road Warrior two. Again, if you need the chair, use the chair. If you need to make it easier, step in. Step in, whatever works for you. Exhale, reverse road warrior. Inhale, road warrior two. Keep those fingers open wide. Pull those hands away from each other. Exhale, extended side angle. You can bring your form right here on your chair or on your quad. Whatever works for you, I'm gonna use the chair. Bicep to your ear, get some length. Deep breath, you're doing great. Exhale, all that air. Inhale to Road Warrior 2. Exhale, reverse Road Warrior. Inhale, come into a runner's lunge type position, supported lunge. Put your hands on your quad, turn your heel up. Deep breath. Exhale, step through. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give reach with that right hand. Now reach with the left. Reach with the right. Reach with the left, bring it down. Diamond cutter, take it back. Out to a T, clinch your fist, baby, hook it up. To the jump. And he shake it out, okay. If you need to do the diamond dozen again, do it again. But don't do it more than three times because you're ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give me one of the folding chairs, I think. Neither one of those are working too well. 